Now, when the Lord was about to take Elijah up to heaven by a whirlwind, Elijah and Elisha were walking from Gilgal. Elijah said to Elisha, stay here, for the Lord has sent me as far as Bethel. But Elisha said to Elijah, I says, the Lord lives, and as you live, I will not leave you. So they went down to Bethel. Then Elijah said to him, stay here, for the Lord has sent me to the Jordan. But he said, as the Lord lives and as you live, I will not leave you. So they went on together. Fifty men of the company of prophets also went and stood at a little distance from them as the two of them were standing on the banks of the Jordan. Then Elijah took his mantle, rolled it up, and struck the water. The water was parted to the one side and to the other until the two of them walked across on dry ground. When they had crossed over, Elijah said to Elisha, tell me what you want me to do for you before I am taken from you. Elisha said, please, let me inherit a double share of your spirit. Elijah said, you have asked a hard thing. Yet, if you can see me when I am taken from you, it will be granted. If not, it will not. Then as they continued walking and talking together, a chariot of fire and horses of fire separated them. And Elijah was taken up to heaven by a whirlwind. Elisha kept watching him and shouting, Father, Father, Israel's chariots and its horsemen. But when he could no longer see him, he grabbed his own clothes and tore them in two pieces. Then Elisha picked up the mantle of Elijah, which had fallen from him and went to the banks of the Jordan. He struck the water with the mantle of Elijah, which had fallen from him, saying, where is the Lord, the God of Elijah? And the water parted to the one side and to the other, and Elisha crossed over. This is the word of God for the people of God.